three is Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, this email from <sighs> Peter says, could the hmm. good Dr. Venture guess why the general film going public are such poor judges of film? Two examples. Dead Man's Chest is now the fourth biggest grossing film of all time. Is it? And overheard at the cinema today, without a hint of irony, let's see Little Man. It looks really funny. No, says Peter, it makes eternity with the crankies seem like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I have to tell you, I'll say this in advance of the review. If you go see Little Man, shame on you. Shame on you. In the Why? same... Because Why, if you... Film. No, I'm sorry, I'm, and I'm deadly serious about this. If you pay money to see... I mean, I have seen some offensive films in my life. I've seen I Spit in Your Grave, Cannibal Holocaust, I Eat Your Skin, Cannibal Ferox, SS Experiment. I mean, I have seen... Believe me... That's one if, night in your house. If you, exactly. If you fund those people, shame on you. Just we'll get to the review later on, but I want to make this absolutely clear. There is no excuse, no excuse for and seeing Little if, Man. If I've already seen it? Well, you know, sh shame, shame on, on you on already. Uh, OK, so that review... Uh, coming up, coming we haven't up. even mentioned The Wicker Man. Uh, this is Five Lives, quarter to four, big movies coming up. Well, they're big, you know, there's lots of posters for them. Whether they're any good or not, Mark, will tell you. Little Man, and I'm going to take a deep breath about this. Um, Little Man is the latest Wayans Brothers comedy, and uh, it stars Marlon Wayans as uh, a, a, small, a little person, a small person, a midget, dwarf, whatever the correct term currently is. Now, the, one of the reasons I'm slightly confused about what the correct term is is because obviously the press notes for the movie aren't particularly reliable. Um, uh, when I was talking to Matthew Bright, who made a film about uh, little people, as he was referring to them, he was referring to something called the American Convention of Little People, and that seemed at that time to be the correct terminology, but I think it comes and goes, OK? So... Basically, the story is that he's a little guy and uh, he gets out of prison and he's three foot tall. And uh, in order to stay away and out of trouble from some gang members, he has to pretend to be a baby. And he turns up on the door of a house and they think he is a baby. And the way they've done this is that they have digitally transposed Marlon Wayans' head onto the body of a two and a half foot tall nine year old. And that's pretty much the setup of the movie. Now, here's the thing. The movie's billed as a comedy. And I would say right at the beginning that to say that there were no laughs in it is really to understate the level of the no laughter. The movie has a message. It has several messages. And the message is pretty much as follows. Firstly, little people are really funny because they look like babies. And that's hilarious. Secondly, um, they're really funny because they look like babies, but, you know, with grown up attachments. And that's really, really hilarious. Thirdly, however, they're not that funny, so in order to make them funny, we have to superimpose the head of Marlon Wayans onto the body of a nine-year-old little person to create the thing that we think is funny, which doesn't exist in the real world, but we think it's funny anyway. Uh, fourthly, breastfeeding is absolutely hilarious, and it's all to do with sex, and boy, the laughs just never stop. Fifthly, if you're a woman, please... Re Quit your job immediately and go back to having children because that's what you're meant to do. I lost track of the number of people, sane, sentient, open-minded people who should have been offended by Little Man. I, 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 I take no pleasure in saying this. I have seen some films that I consider to be grotesque, but I struggle to think of one more grotesque than Little Man. It is, in every way, evil-minded, bad you know, profoundly depressing indictment of the way in which the modern movie industry works. I mean, one of the saddest things is that the Wayan brothers have actually become the most successful black filmmakers of all time, financially speaking, which ought to be something about which one can celebrate. But it is the most retrograde, horrible, nauseating, inward-looking, smug, repulsive, grotesque, ill-advised, Badly judged. Patronising? Pa well, no, I haven't seen it. I'm just I mean, offering you... No, patronising. I mean, I re you really, you sit there thinking, is it me or is everyone in the cinema taking a collective breath and thinking, you can't really have made this film? You really cannot have sat in script meetings and decided that this was a good idea. I was very reassured today to read a couple of reviews in newspapers, all one stars, all saying exactly the same thing, saying that there is no pit deep enough in the world to dispose of every single copy of this film. It is, and I say this seriously, it is evil. And if you go and see it, shame on you. It's not, how can you, you mean it's offensive? 
I mean, it's evil. What do you mean? I mean, there is such a thing. In what way is it evil? I mean, there is it's such a thing by as the devil, good is it? and evil. Well, listen, I've spent my whole life defending movies that people tell me are evil, OK? And they're not. And, you know, I get told horror movies are bad for you and action movies are bad for you and, you know, erotic thrillers are bad for you. No. Little Man is bad for the world. It's bad for the whole world is that it Is it possessed exists. by the devil? You want an honest answer to that question? Yeah. Yes. Put it on the poster. <laughs> um, Peter on this says, I'm absolutely at one with Mark on Little Man. I almost, oh, good. I nearly walked out, blah, blah, blah. It's truly hideous, but um, I often envy Mark's job lounging around in cinemas all day, uh, doing two hours' work on a Friday afternoon. You're right, Peter, that is all it is. Uh, but not when he has to watch rubbish like that. Andrew Manchester watched Little Man in Australia three weeks ago on a rugby tour. Host managed to get us in for free, although we may have got... Someone fired. He said, anyway, our team all fell asleep, but the Aussies enjoyed it. To make things worse, though, they murdered us the next day, 39-7. That'll uh, go on the poster. The Aussies enjoyed it. Yeah. You know? But it's actually... Is it the first film you've seen that's possessed by the devil, do you think? Well, you know, I mean, obviously, I use that phrase um, very, very selectively. I mean, I, I seriously think it's the most wretched, rancid... Th- I mean, I have seen some bad films in my life, and I'm sure... You would I- rather go and see... Pirates of the Caribbean, both as a double bill, and yeah. see this again. I would rather see Pirates of the Caribbean on a continuous loop for an entire weekend with my eyes held open like Malcolm McDowell enduring the Ludovico technique in A Clockwork Orange than watch Little Man again. Context has been supplied. OK. 